Paul Scholes claims Jose Mourinho will watch him at Oldham because he savaged him at Manchester United. Scholes was Mourinho's fiercest critic and knows he has put himself in the firing line after swapping the BT Sports studio for the Oldham dugout. Mourinho probably hopes he will fail in his first management job, but Scholes says he will ignore the pundits because their views are irrelevant. I think he'll be watching results, whether he'll be watching the games I'm not too sure," said Scholes. I've left myself wide open because I have been quite critical. The pundits can say what they want, I have never really understood why players and managers take notice of what pundits say anyway. They're just giving an opinion on the game and get paid for doing so. If anyone wants to have a pop with me, I won't take any notice. The only person I answer to is the owner. Marinho's successor, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, is amused Scholes has given up his microphone for a tracksuit. He's asking for it and he's walking right into it, but it's fantastic to have Shalasi back in the game," said Solskjaer. Solskjaer may visit his old pal and Scholes hopes to take more loan signings from his former club after United youngster Zach Dernley scored on his Latics debut in Saturday's win over Crawley. He may also call Sir Alex Ferguson, the gaffer as he still calls him, and his class of 92 pals for advice as he bids to get Oldham out of League 2. I'm sure the gaffer is on the other end of the phone," said Scholes, whose first game is against Yeovil on Tuesday. I've got great experience with Gary too, what he did in Valencia, Ryan with Wales, and under Van Gaal, a lot of different experiences. I'll definitely be speaking to them a lot. Scholes, 44, who has appointed former Latics coach Mick Priest as his number two, is already hands-on and opened the reception door at Boundary Park to let some media in for his unveiling yesterday. Although he supported United as a kid, Oldham was where he watched his football with his dad from the chatty end, and he has fond memories of the 1990 and 1994 FA Cup semi-finals against the club he would served with such distinction. I'd just left school in 1990 and was going to United as an apprentice for the 3-3," said Scholes who has quit as a director at Salford City to get EFL clearance. That was so close. That's probably one of my best memories. Then there was the one at Wembley. Oldham were winning for ages and then Mark Hughes scored that volley. I wasn't an Oldham fan then, I was United. My dad was the Oldham fan. I came because it was easier and because they were great to watch under Joe Royal. It's been 20 or 30 years since there was excitement here and I want to change that.